At the southern tip of South America, lies the Tierra del Fuego archipelago. This remote island chain, which today is split between Chile and Argentina, was once home to the Selkanam tribe. One of the most formidable native groups to have ever inhabited South America. The Selkanams or Ona, as they are also known, are renowned and revered for being impressively hardy and immensely adaptable people. They were fit, strong, and tall, wearing nothing more than a loincloth. They seem to have flourished in the harsh environment of Tierra del Fuego. This unforgiving landscape has insanely freezing winds and unpredictable climate. You'll understand why the Selkanam have a reputation for being some of the toughest indigenous people who ever lived on our planet. Unlike other tribes in the archipelago, the Selkanam lived in the interior of Tierra del Fuego and were prolific hunter-gatherers on land. They had no concept of agriculture. They lived communally, with no concept of personal land or animal ownership, and moved around Tierra del Fuego as climate dictated hunting possibilities. These native inhabitants of South America were anything but primitive. They held deep and complex spiritual beliefs, which included faith in a creator and worship of one main deity. They held initiation ceremonies for their young boys, involving tests of courage, the overcoming of fear, and cunning resourcefulness.
The Selkanam are the last indigenous tribes to have encountered European invaders. Tierra del Fuego, which means land of fire in Spanish, actually derives its name from the colossal Selkanam bonfires, which the first Europeans observed upon reaching the island. It is estimated that by the time Europeans first made contact in their attempt to conquer Tierra del Fuego, the nomadic Selkanam had been living there for thousands of years and numbered approximately 4,000. As European settlers landed in Tierra del Fuego, they promptly set up ranches, and herded wild game. A concept, Selkanam people failed to comprehend. As they continued to hunt the now-owned wildlife, they were seen as a threat, and hunted in return by ranch owners. Settlers began to chase the Selkanam off the lands they had claimed. but soon began an extermination campaign with the support of the authorities. Settlers received handsome financial rewards for each native kill. Large companies offered a reward of one pound sterling per Selkanam dead. This was confirmed by a pair of hands, ears or a skull. In addition to hunting the Selkanam, settlers also poisoned their food. And anyone who managed to survive this threat, fell victim to smallpox, scarlet fever, and tuberculosis. European ranch settlers and imported diseases claimed the highest number of casualties, in equally terrifying fashion. Captured natives, who despite their physical prowess were no match for the armed invaders. They were held in deplorable conditions, and carted off to Europe, for tours of the so-called human zoos. A great majority never even survived the trip, and, once there, only a handful were ever returned to their homeland. To add to their woes, Christian missionaries forced their relocations in an attempt to convert them, aggressively disrupting the natives' livelihood and social structure. Although many missionaries documented what they thought to be an endearing culture and tried in earnest to preserve their language and customs, their sheer presence still had a detrimental effect on these native tribes. In 1919, there were more than 200 of the Selkanam people remained on the island. This ill-fated tribe went from being the most prominent in Tierra del Fuego 
to being all but extinct, a little over 100 years later. The last full-blooded Selkanam tribesperson died in 1974, and by 1990, there were no longer any honor language speakers left in the world. The cultural heritage of the Selkanam had all but disappeared. The Selkanam are now considered extinct as a tribe. The Selkanam were by no means the only indigenous Tierra del Fuego inhabitants who suffered greatly at the hands of foreign conquistadors, but they are among the most enigmatic. The cause of the complete extinction of this remarkable tribe is arguably one of the darkest and most tragic part of Latin American history.